me for a few. This is a follow-up from an earlier live that I did where we cut the jackfruit open. So I'll wait for a few to get in the room. Jackfruit, yay! Hey everybody, let's see Tim. Thank you for coming back. Kashan. I think it is a Keyshawn or Kashan. I'm sorry if I'm messing that names up. So I'll just say hey to everybody. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to do a follow-up because there there are some excellent, excellent, and ladies, you will love the benefits. There are some great benefits. All right. Let's just talk about the seeds. We're just going to talk about the seeds, the benefits to these. Because sometimes when I say, well, yeah, we can eat them, but why would we want to eat them when I can just go get a potato? Well, I don't, potato is starch and it turns into sugar and sugar is known to cause wrinkles. All right. So that's a fact. Sugar will cause wrinkles. So if you're trying to stay young looking, younger, and we know some of us will stay young looking no matter what. But for those of us who want to just add more to that, you might want to cook these up and take the shell off and eat these instead of potatoes because the jackfruit seeds fights wrinkles, helps get a glowing complexion, flawless skin, high in protein, anti-cancer nutrients, comfort from indigestion, promotes hair growth, uh, vitamin A and healthy digestion. So that's just from the seeds, okay? And I just did a simple Google search and printed this out because I, it's important information. Because it's not about just not eating meat or dead flesh, it's about feeding our bodies with the best. And so, um, again, we cut up a jackfruit earlier on the live. I'm gonna finish up to show you how much one jackfruit got me. And then to tell you again that this is amazing all the things that it does and I will post these as well but the seeds so right now we're just talking about the seeds that I pulled out okay just the seeds and the seeds helps fight cancer glowing complexion flawless skin high in protein all good and it, and it tastes really good as far as the um, the pod itself the seeds I haven't tasted yet but they say it tastes like potatoes so I will be Cooking those up with maybe some chorizo, you know, make that happen. Okay, now let's talk about the jackfruit itself. The jackfruit, the health benefits of jackfruit are cardiovascular health benefits. So blood, matter of fact, if you have um, high blood pressure, this uh, one of these says that it lowers high blood pressure. So this would be for those people who are, you know, you want to get off the medicine. You you see the side effects. You're not being programmed anymore because you know the commercials they show everybody happy and all that and as they're all happy and all that they're saying that they could die from this medicine it's ridiculous so if you're paying attention you're opening up and you're saying okay wait a minute what where did they get this medicine from in the first place well they got that medicine when the colonizers would go to Africa to the rainforest and then they would find all these different foods and then they went ahead and made a pill form so that us lazy humans don't want to go out and get the fruit and do this ourselves. And to me, this is the better investment than a pill popper. Okay, so if you have an opportunity to heal yourself because it's a personal choice, and we all have to be responsible for our own choices, then this might be a, a good alternative when it comes to high blood pressure and a lot of people have that issue. Skin health, great for that. Stomach ulcers, if anybody has a stomach ulcer going on, and you don't want to take medicine for it. Jackfruit could be a way out of that. Um, improves digestion. I don't know why people complain about going shit. I really don't. Because that just tells me that they want to walk around full of shit. And I don't get that. You, you ought to be having at least two to three, maybe four movements a day. All this, you know, well, I don't want to go to the restroom. I can't eat that fruit because it's going to make me go to the restroom. So you're telling me you'd rather be full of shit than you use the restroom. So no, no. Our digestion <laughs> is supposed to work. We're supposed to take in and out a flushing. And if we're not flushing correctly, that's when we have all these issues, cancer, all those different things. So this helps improve digestion. Bone health, okay? They lied when they said milk does the body good and it's good for your bones. No, it's not, it's completely opposite. 
and you can do the research on that and prove me wrong if you want to, but <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to find it. So bone health. So if you have children that are participating in sports, uh, Amira just signed up for soccer. I'm so excited to see her. She has not tasted this and I, I'm hoping that she will, she'll love it just as much as I do. This is really good, um, but great for bones. So moms, we don't want to be in the hospital, you know, waiting in line, dealing with broken parts of our child because they're out there playing. We want them to have great bones. So jackfruit is a um, solution for that. Hair growth. All right, the seeds do that. So apparently the, uh, the jackfruit part does too, hair growth. And I know me, I don't want my hair. I, I'm, I'm 51, so it's, you know, I'm getting up there and I want to keep as much hair as possible so it doesn't improve that. Anti-cancer. Again, that C word. We're going to cure it. No more running. No more running. If we're going to run, we're going to run because it's a vegan thing and we know that that would help, right? No more running because the reality is there is the cure and the cure is in our food. The cure is in the herb. That's the cure. Um, protecting against asthma and we know that a lot of people and children have asthma because of all the pesticides and everything that they spray on the food. So again, eating organically, we want to, that's telling them we don't want these pesticides, but it does protect, I'm sorry, not asthma, an, anemia. I know I'm saying that wrong. Low in iron where you want to sleep all day, that, that one. <laughs> Maintaining a healthy thyroid gland. So thyroid, that's, that's another, um, I know people who have gotten cancer in the thyroid area and it's, you know, it's right here. So, and I've, I just saw a man the other day who had a, a bulge right here and, and could be or not, but um, more often than not, that's cancer. So this is going to help with our thyroid gland. Let's see, mental and um, psychological health benefits as well. So, you know, I'm a little crazy. So eating this will help me stay not as crazy. <laughs> All right, so there is that, maintains, prevents anemia, strengthens the bones, controls, oh, I did see asthma. So if you search, you'll see different ones will say different things, and this one says um, controls asthma. So instead of giving those puffers, because if you ever notice, when my son Terrence was really little, he had asthma, and I gave him a puff, and his heart was racing so fast, it scared me. So we learned how to control the asthma through breathing, taking our time, getting outside, getting some fresh air. Um, and then of course, if you, if that's the only thing you can do, then, then use the spray, but trying different ways and um, stay away from bread if you have children that have asthma because the preservatives in the bread will flare it up. But jackfruit will actually help it. So, um, so yeah, so there's some great things there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. I have a few pods to pull out so we can see how much we got from one jackfruit because part of my reason for not getting jackfruit sooner was I didn't know how much I can get out of it and I like to, you know, I pay attention to my investments and money and budgeting and all that just like most of us out here. So, so I wasn't sure how much. So today you're gonna to be able to see, for those of you that didn't see the live earlier, if you go back, you'll see how big the jackfruit was. But so far, this is how much we have out of this one jackfruit. And then I'm going to open up a canned jackfruit so we can see how much we get out of here too, okay? So let's go ahead and finish this up. Um, I'm not gonna oil up because it's in the gloves and I feel like I can have better, yeah way better so if you're gonna um, only oil up if you're gonna do this with your hands uh, and no gloves but if you have gloves don't oil the gloves because it's too slippery um, and you're gonna take them off anyways okay so again the seeds are inside the seeds are inside so we'll pop those se the seed out and then we will I'm gonna shred this up and, and fry this up and I think I'm even gonna try to do some barbecue um, they said it tastes like a pulled pork barbecue, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that, but it will be pulled jackfruit. All right, so here's another one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out. Finish these up. At first I was a little hesitant because you have to just like go in here and like really like get in there to get everything out, but that's, uh, and I was kind of like, hmm. 
This is a new texture for me to be working with with Boo. So again, earlier I, I had mentioned that this was my first. This is my this is my first time cutting open a jackfruit, and my first time tasting it. I tasted it online. Anybody interested? How much of this do you need to um, to, to notice a change in your body? Um, I listen to Ralph Smart a lot, and he says that it takes 30 days for your cells to like rejuvenate. So I would say just if you're eating it daily and you're eliminating the bad stuff, more of the good is going to keep feel Our bodies are amazing. Our bodies are remarkable. Once we start feeding our bodies correctly, they start to bloom, blossom, you know, glowing skin, um, less wrinkles, uh, happier, clear thinking. So I would just, I would just start right away. And it, oh, one of them also says it, it gives you energy. So um, that might be a way to try it. You know, take if you feel like you're low and you've got fresh jackfruit. I don't know if I would suggest it from the can, but if you have fresh jackfruit, you could just take a piece. Eat it. It's really good. Really good. That's yummy. <laughs> I'm right now just having a hard time because I'm so used to cooking jackfruit like a meat that um, I'm not ready for all that goodness that bursts in your mouth of sweetness. So, and I had watched a YouTube and she just started tearing into it, eating it. I was like, I wonder if that's any good. I don't know. But um, I tried it earlier and now, and yeah, it's good. Okay, so here's our leftovers of the jackfruit. So you can see that this jackfruit was pretty large. <laughs> I'm trying to put it all together. <laughs> so this is a lot of pounds, right? This is a lot of pounds that you're not going to use um, unless you're going to put it in your garden. All right. So when they say two pounds for a dollar, now you now you're talking about getting you know this versus I think after today it's going to be sixty nine cents a pound. Sixty nine cents a pound. So, something to think about. All right, so I, it did help to, re, to remove this, this middle piece. So, um, there's, there's a little bit of, looks like good jackfruit here. Let me see. Turn the light off. So you can see the, you can kind of see the difference of this. That part I probably would take off and add to, to the rest of this bowl. So I'll go through and clean it up, but I just kind of wanted you guys to see what the results what the results were. Okay, so I'm gonna have more seeds because I haven't de-seeded all of all of this, but we got a, a nice size bowl of jackfruit. Now let's see how much this uh, this can gets us, right? this I'm gonna take these gloves off because it's easier all right so before I do this by the way um, tomorrow art hop tower blends I have some people coming by and picking up their portraits yay I'll see you then but I'll also be sharing some pieces. I might bring out a couple of pieces I've already done, but we're, we may be outside, weather permitting, sun shining after the rain, because uh, I love the rain. But let me go ahead and share one of the pieces here. This, this one is one uh, a favorite of mine. It says Kearney Boulevard at night after the rain. I add a little bit of glitter. So if we're out there, Outside, it might be really nice once the sun um, starts setting. So this is a, a piece. I have a gallery online that you can take a look at of it. Um, one of the pieces there. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and check out how much we get in a can. And I think a can is a dollar ninety nine at Trader Joe's. So two dollars. So we got a, a pound for two dollars and a can here for two dollars. Do you guys want me to taste it out the can? I've never tasted it out the can. 
What do you think? As far as fresh, I've always, you know, cooked it up first. I hope this is helpful because I, when I was on this journey, long before um, it's caught on now, a lot of celebrities are going vegan. Um, so, you know, it's kind of caught on, but before, it's very difficult to, 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 to see it on the mainstream like we see it now. Okay. So here's, I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see what it looks like in the can, because we just did it fresh, right? So here it is in the can. Oh, sorry. Spilled a little bit of the citric acid. <laughs> so it's more, here it's like a, um, a peach color. I'm gonna say peach, light orange. And here it's, it's got that uh, more of a white color. And that's probably because this is ripe, ready to eat, and this probably, let's see, what does it say? In brine, I don't know what that means. Or maybe it just means, I don't know. Let's just pour it out. All right, so for $2, we're gonna get this. Now I'll put some gloves on. Alright, so we can see this is where the seed was, right? And how it looks. I don't know how they, you know, what how they chop it up to be these little triangles, but until today, this is what I was used to seeing when I would cut up um, a jackfruit. So this is two dollars right here for this. And having it fresh, it looks a lot different. Almost like a habanero. Very different. But again, we're working with fresh versus can. Okay, so yeah. You see the difference? So you want me to taste it, Laura? Is that what you're saying? I'm scared. <laughs> Missy says taste it. Okay. Um, all right, so again, we, we just cut up a jackfruit. I slaughtered it here on the, t on the table. And this is how much we got from one jackfruit. And this is how much would be in a can. Okay, so, but a can is $2. And here would be, this was $5. All right, fresh. Um, I've take, tasted this and... I don't want to taste as much. So here we go. You guys ready for me to try this? All right, let's, let's try this. I've always cooked this up, so I'm not saying that I don't like it because I love the flavors that it takes on, especially, oh, and let me get some of that real quick. Let me get something really quick. Okay, so this is, Fire and Spice by Sheena Vaughn. This is her jerk sauce that is absolutely amazing. So yummy, but it is jerk. So if you're somebody who is not interested in anything spicy, this isn't for you. But if you're like me, who likes it hot, 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 this is, this is, this is the stuff. And so I'm used to having this with this. So this is different to taste it without this or the pan. So. Here we go. That's the only way to know the difference, right? I'm not taking it as big as a bite, okay? Just a smaller one. <laughs> mm -mm. Completely different. Completely different. This has less flavor, less sweetness. It's, it's more almost sour, and I'm thinking that's just from the juice part, but this definitely is not something you could eat out the can and think that you're gonna get the sweetness that you get in the jackfruit with the original fruit. So I guess it's with anything. You know how 
You can go and get some fresh tamales made and that's good and then you can see tamales in the can. You already know, right? You already know the tamales in the can is not gonna be nowhere near the fresh tamale that's made. So this, would you would have to wanna use extreme spices like the jerk and I say extreme because this is very very flavorful lots of flavors are in here and this jackfruit picks up those flavors so this would be okay when you're cooking it up but if you were wanting to make a salad and you want to have a fresh um, a fruit um, taste to it then you definitely want to do the fresh so I'm interested to see how this is gonna work with the jerk sauce um, but I, I have no I have no doubt it's going to be wonderful. So, so there you go. There you go. Um, I do have this <laughs> jackfruit sitting over here that I cut in rings around, and I'm I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try doing this just a little later. Um, but it also this one doesn't look as fresh to me as this one was. And I got this at the cherry auction just to let you know. And I paid twenty dollars for this gotta learn Spanish but um, I paid $20 for this and today at Perlarta the jackfruit is two pounds for a dollar and um, I only paid I think like no more than six bucks five something for this for this one 25 so um, the cherry auction is not always gonna be the great way to go as I learned today but uh, they don't always have jackfruit at the stores either. So that's kind of the, that's the weight of it all, right? So if you can't get fresh and you do get canned, I would um, highly suggest going to Trader Joe's and getting your can. Matter of fact, do we wanna see what the other can looks like? Do you guys wanna see what this looks like? All right, this is the Trader Joe's. And do we wanna see what this one looks like? What do you think? We should do that, huh? I think we should do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and this is this is jackfruit. We we cut up this one already, and I think I'm gonna do that so we can see. Let me just get another bowl. So, the Trader Joe's version of their canned jackfruit, just in case you cannot get fresh jackfruit or this isn't your thing and you're not trying to do all this, but you do want to cook with jackfruit, then, then Trader Joe's is the better buy because there's only jackfruit, water, salt, and citric acid. That's it. That's all that's in here. Okay, so that's this, that's this one right here. Let me go ahead and put that in so we can see it. I have a little mess here, but that's all right. All right, so that's this one. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up the one that's at Food Max, just down the street, simple walk or even a bike ride to pick up this one. And this one has jack green jackfruit, water. This, did this one say green jackfruit? No, this just said jackfruit. This one says green jackfruit water, salt, citric acid, which is the same thing that was in this one, but this one has two more, calcium chloride, a firming agent, and sodium metabosphite. I don't know, I probably said that wrong, but whatever. It's got two, two additional preservatives in this can. So, and this is the only store, you know, in 93706 area that probably carries, and, and this is what they got, versus going over there by River Park, and their jackfruit only has one preservative. So, yeah, this is why some of us have to travel. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. It's like, I don't know why this company couldn't do the same thing that that company does, I don't know, but. We're gonna open this up so we can see what this looks like compared to the, compared to the Trader Joe's jackfruit. Okay, so we have, just as a wrap up, we have the fresh jackfruit here, which you can eat. Uh, you can eat right out this bowl with some strawberries, some bananas, whatever. This is delicious. You can eat it right out here. And then you have this, and if you tasted this, it would taste nothing like this. And this is from the can, okay, from the can. 
And then we have, this one is the jackfruit that they have at Food Max, or I think it's Food Max. All right, so right away, we're gonna take a look at the color difference. Just picked up one. I'm gonna turn the light off because this light sometimes blows it out. So can you see the difference? So this is Trader Joe's, and this one's from Food Max. So this one has a little bit more color to it, and this is, this is like a lighter color. I'm gonna pour it in here. So there's from there, and this one's from Trader Joe's. I don't know if you can, this light, I'm gonna turn this other light on. I didn't wanna turn the circle light on because yeah, there's a little bit more light there. So, I don't know if you can see, try not to spill. There is a difference. This is a little bit more darker and it resembles more of the jackfruit as far as the shredding part of it, where this one kind of almost looks like a fake jackfruit. Not saying that it is fake, but it kind of looks like a fake one compared to what these look, what this looks like. And maybe if I get it closer, I'm just gonna go over here. All right, so again, oops, again, one is more on the white side. This one has a little bit more color to it. This is Trader Joe's. This is the brand from Food, Food Max. Okay, so these are canned, right? And then if we were gonna look at the fresh, and we got the fresh, canned, and the fresh that we're gonna cut up. I don't know why they look so different. I mean, I don't know how they cut it. I don't know what they do, but it's gonna take a little bit to make this into shredded, whereas this jackfruit, you just can kind of pull open and you can see how it's shredding up, right? Which almost looks like, to me, the inside of this, but that's not the part that we're eating, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So, so yeah, so that's jackfruit, tons of benefits, especially when you're talking about young people in sports. Um, coaches, you too. I, I see coaches out there telling the young kids to do this, this, and that, and you know, gotta set the tone, set the example, right? You gotta be the one to say, okay, well, this is what I'm doing. I've also seen some coaches out there that are going vegan, going vegetarian. They look really good. There's some coaches out there that may not be vegan, may not be vegetarian, but they make sure to eat healthy um, to get their, their vegetables in and so they're paying more attention and they're out there doing the same things that these young ones can do. So with the jackfruit, again, it helps maintain a healthy thyroid, healthy thyroid, um, strengthens the bones, controls asthma, lowers high blood pressure, boosts energy, I love energy. Matter of fact, I'm so proud of myself, I kick the coffee habit. I was drinking coffee every single day. I mean, every single day I had to have my coffee. And um, I kicked the habit. Thank you to Titus Unlimited, who's always talking about coffee and alcohol. <laughs> so um, I kicked that habit and alcohol, I've dropped that down to my intake of alcohol because I do like to have me some, you know, um, Crown Royal with some fresh pineapple juice. That's like really good. But I'm, I'm learning to you know scale it back and not have it as much and to replace it with other things. So um, healthy eye and skin, maintains healthy eye and skin. That's another great thing about jackfruit. Aids in healthy digestion. Don't be full of shit, all right? Get your digestion going right. Eat some good food that make, that'll clear you out. Nobody wants to be full of shit. Strengthens immune system and we don't want to be sick because it's no fun and quite honestly, people are getting in tune. People are realizing if we're sick, there's something that we ate, something that we did, something that's stressing us out. We got in contact with someone else who was sick, but how healthy are we in order to block whatever those things are? And the only way we can maintain a strong armor is by what we put inside, right? Just like your car. 
You're not gonna go, you just bought a brand new car and they tell you top of the line gas. They tell you that, it's brand new. You're not gonna go and put the cheap shit in because why? Because that is gonna mess up your car. So the mentality is to change that programming around and get off the 99 cents menu and find out, okay, what can I do? And if you are not interested in cutting these things up and doing these things, then you know, find somebody who'd be willing to do that to you and bless them because they are giving you food that is a healing, it's a cell spot thing, right? We want it to hit every cell, every spot in the most wonderful way. So support home plate cells. We are, um, Sheena with Fire and Spice, she's having her cell tomorrow. It was pre-order only, but I may have some sliders out there, some jackfruit sliders and they may or may not have this one in there, depending if I don't eat this all because it's so yummy. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Any questions, please hit me in the end. Which one? I just left Ashlyn and they didn't have none. Okay. Um, the one on Clinton. The one on Clinton and, and 99 for um, Lavarthe. No, Velarthe. <laughs> saying it wrong. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm murdering it. But um, Clinton and 99. And I don't know how many they have there, but um, I'm sure if you go now, you probably will find it. That's for you, Stephanie. Okay. All right. Anybody else have any questions about the jackfruit? Anybody want me to taste it again so I can prove to you that it was good? Whoever didn't see me taste it, you want to see me taste it again? <laughs> I plan on, um, the goal is I plan on having, oh, okay, we have some, yay. Thank you for the love, Lonnie and Shanika. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm planning on having different meals and coming up in the Rasta kitchen and being a taster. So if anyone's interested in being a um, a taster of vegan food, especially if you're a meat eater, I would love to um, invite you to come and have a taste. We had uh, John Sears Sr. He was our last taste tester in the Rasta Kitchen. So anyone else wanna be a taste text, taste tester? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll do um, some Mexican food. Okay, Stephanie, okay, so I'll let you know when the next one I'm doing so you can come and we'll set, you know, I'll do the same thing. I don't know if you saw my, my uh, I think you did see it um, so you can you can test it out and you can let everyone know I'm, I listen to Ralph smart a lot and he says that he does things in one take so you know I'm really thankful you guys joined and decided hey let's go ahead and check out and see what she's talking about and again we were talking about the jackfruit today we, we looked at the jackfruit out as a plant it's my first time cutting it open live on Facebook and um, having that experience we talked about the can can is not always bad, especially if you're going to season it up well, but it definitely is not the same as your fresh jackfruit. So um, that's where you're going to see your price difference. If you can, avoid going to, or, or avoid, not going to, avoid, because maybe one day they'll get it and they'll start putting on the shelf things that are good for us. Um, the closest place for me to get jackfruit, it had two more preservatives than Trader Joe's, which is out by Woodward Park now. So um, I do travel out there like once a week so that I could get load up on this. All right, so that's about it. Thank you, everyone. Uh, nobody has any questions, and I think we're good, and I appreciate you all watching. All right, let me see if I can. Oh, I can't reach. I'm going to have to go around. <laughs>